friends, welcome to Honest Wireless. Today I'm going to show you when, where, and how to plant our emery leaf bulbs. If you're for the first time on my channel, please subscribe because I'm going to prepare for you lots of videos about ideas and tips about growing our plants, about gardening, and lots of other stuff. And so today's topic is emery leaves. If you have seen my previous videos, I have a couple of videos about amaryllises, basically what to do with them after blooming, how to repot them, and lots of other stuff. I have even showed you like a collection of my amaryllises in pictures and how I grow them from seeds. But today's topic is how to plant amaryllis bulbs, especially after a dormant period or when you just buy them. And let's discuss this topic, let's see where, when, and how to plant them. So. Question number one, when? Of course, after dormant period. What's dormant period? It's a couple of months, maybe one, two months at least, where your bulbs are not growing, where your bulbs are just sleeping, so to say. And what means dormant period? It means that you need to keep your bulbs in cool and dry and dark place so that they don't grow. And of course, the temperature should not be freezing, otherwise you will lose your bulbs but the temperature should be just cool enough for them not to grow. So this is for a couple of months and this is exactly, you see here my box is full of emery leaf bulbs. I'm going to take them out, show them how they have been through all these months and now it's spring and I'm going to plant them. So about dormant period, really short. I'm not going to go into much detail now, but so some people plant them in October, November, just to have them blooming for the Christmas period, for the new year. But I prefer, you know, planting them in spring and have them grow and flower in the spring, in the summer, until late autumn. And why? Well, the reason is simple. Of course, if you plant your bulbs in late autumn, let's say end of October, November, you will have wonderful, charming flowers for Christmas. But obviously, we do not have that much sun in this period of time, right? In winter. And so you will have these gorgeous blooms, you will enjoy them. But then when the leaves start to grow, they will not have that much light. And this can actually not be so good for the plant because then it will grow leaves that will be loose and weak and not really, really strong. So I think, in my opinion, the best way to plant them is in spring, when the weather starts to get warmer and the light and the bright days are getting longer. So that's why I'm doing it now. And I'm going to show you all my bulbs now. Okay, so this is apple blossom. You can see that it's completely dry, a bud and small leaf is coming out here, and it has just one root here, a couple of roots here, and some dry roots also here. So I will show you what to do with this. I just want to show you a couple of bulbs, bulbs so that you see their condition. This one is Santiago, a wonderful variety. I love it. You can see that there are lots of roots. Some are dry, some are still okay and here it's all dry nothing is growing yet but it... okay you see the roots this is a perfect start for the bulb so it doesn't matter if your bulb has roots or doesn't have of course with a, with some roots it's a bit easier for the start so easier for the bulb to grow roots and start quickly you know absorbing water and growing but if you, your bulb does not have roots it's also totally fine all right so I have lots of bulbs here. This one is cherry nymph. This is one of my favorite varieties. Huge flower, um, full flower actually. You have seen that in my photos most probably. Look how gorgeous this is. So what to do with the bulbs? Let, let me show just now and then I don't want to bore you with all the other stuff. I will just speed up the process. But now, look, if you take your bulb, it's a little bit dry, right? Because of the dormant, because of the dormant period, you can just remove the shells. Some leave them, some don't. It's absolutely as you prefer. This doesn't play any significant role uh, for, your, for growing on your bulb. So you can leave the bulb just like this. This is absolutely fine. So there is another tip to help the bulb to start growing after the dormancy easily. You can put only the roots into water for like 15-20 minutes. Only the roots. So the bulb itself, especially the bottom, should not touch the water. So only roots. 
Where to grow them? Of course, it can be garden, it can be balcony, it can be indoors in a pot. So the best way to, to plant them, the best place to plant them is, of course, gardens because they love fresh air, they love grow under the sun, well, a little bit of sun, and then they will grow amazing strong roots and huge flowers. But that's not the case with everyone because not everyone has gardens like me, but I have got, I have balcony and they will be growing in my case in the balcony. Um, in or on. As for the soil, well, here I have Here I have this type of soil. This is just a universal soil for uh, flowers, for balconies, and for just uh, house plants. But of course, you can find maybe some uh, soil mixtures um, which are specific for plants with bulbs. Unfortunately, this type of soil is so hard to find, and even in Germany, I couldn't find it. I couldn't find them even online, unfortunately. Maybe I didn't have. Uh, that much time. I didn't spend that much time searching for it. But yeah, this soil will be also totally fine. And now that you have seen some of my bulbs, I'm not going to uh, bore you with the rest of this because it will be uh, absolutely the same, just different bulbs. They're all looking more or less the same, but there are different varieties. This one, as you can see, uh, has a bud already coming out. And I will prepare them for planting and I will come back to you when everything is so I decided to show you what I'm doing with this bulb and with what needs to prepare. So I take it out. As you can see, I prepared some already. But so I'm taking them from the bag. Please don't forget to use your tags also not to mix the varieties. And what I'm doing, I do just like this. I slightly touch the bulb and all this dry layers that need to go out, they go out. I don't uh, really peel them. And I can see that there are some bulbs growing. Maybe you can see, I don't know, let me show. Yeah, I think you can see it's here. So one is here and where's the next one? Where was it? Oh no, okay. So it's just this one. So this will most probably grow into a separate plant. And the roots, as you can see, they are dry. Some of, some of them are dry and what I do, I just, you know, I just touch them, I just pull them a little bit. What goes off, goes off. The rest shall stay. Or you can just cut with scissors, but again, with lots of bulbs, it's a lot of work, so I'm not doing this. I just do like this. Ready? And so the same with this bulb, I take it out. I don't forget the tag and see there's no growth, no buds here, but the bulb itself is firm and it's really a healthy bulb. So the roots are dry and what I'm going to do, I just clean them. I just like pull them like this and the roots, if they are loose, if they are dry, then they go. If no, they stay, I don't touch them anymore. So this is what's left. And again, this part I'm doing just slightly like this. That's it. Peeled, ready. And now you can see here's a huge baby, but you can also see that here it's dark. So this is definitely not good, but I'm going to separate the baby and try to grow it separately. And when we separate the babies, there will be wound here from both sides, so it will be a little bit wet. Don't hurry to plant this bulb, but just wait until maybe two or three days until the wound is completely dry and only then plant it. So how you can separate them either with a knife or you just slightly pull it just like this, as you can see, it goes out really easy. But there will be wound here and also here. So both need to stay dry for a couple of days before you will plant them. The next bulb is Papilio. So it's a very nice flower, a very nice plant and with gorgeous flower. Two buds already growing. This is absolutely fine that they are white or yellow. As soon as I plant them and put them in a bright place, they will turn green in just a couple of days. And a baby. 
I wouldn't separate this baby because it's still small and I would like it to go attached to the mother plant so that it grows uh, bigger easily. And of course I will remove the layers and the roots. Green, blue and this purple amaryllis just do not exist. It's just people are changing these colors with some software just to make them appealing for customers and so that people buy them. But you can of course buy them if you would like just to have a plant of amaryllis if you don't care about the variety you don't care about the color and the type of your plant but if you expect the bulb to bloom just like this purple you will not get it as you can see i have put some soil in this plastic uh, pots and what i'm going to do i just want to show you the depth how deep you need to plant your bulbs so we will start with, this is apple blossom. As you can see, I have one, two, three babies and even four babies here, but I'm not going to remove them because they are just tiny and they will not grow if separated from the mother plant. So you can just take the bulb. As you can see, there are some roots, it's totally fine. And so two thirds approximately, of course, two thirds of the bulb should, should be in the soil and one third of the bulb just the very top should be over the surface of the soil so this means they also call it shoulders so to say the shoulders of the bulb just right here should be over the surface of the soil so we are putting it here we'll make we will make a hole here just a little bit try not to damage the roots of course no, deeper. All right. Yep, just like this. And then we will put a little bit of more soil. I just press the soil just a little bit. I don't really push on it. We don't need this. So here it is. We can add actually a little bit of soil after a couple of days. I usually do it like that because when you water, the soil will go down a little bit. It will, you know, find it, find its place, and then you can just um, add some soil. But for now, this bulb is pretty okay. Next, but with all other bulbs, I'm not going to get to make you bored, and I will plant and I will show you in a little bit the result. So the bulbs are planted, the job is done. As you can see, all the bulbs are planted for now. They will go to the balcony. What I wanted to say, this is the only plant, uh, this is the only pot that I planted here, just two bulbs because they were much smaller than the others. This is Dancing Queen, but I would not recommend you planting two bulbs, three bulbs, I don't know, five bulb, bulbs together in one pot. Of course, sometimes people do this and then they have this gorgeous, I don't know, fountain of flowers but after flowering i would suggest still separating them and letting the bulbs grow because this is how your bulbs will grow in size will get strength and will flower even better the next year so i want to mention two things first please if you have the opportunity please plant your bulbs outside in the garden if you have a garden if no then please this is really important to choose a bigger pot Otherwise, if you grow your, your bulbs, your plants in a small, in a tiny pot, yes, it will bloom, but the bulb itself will, will shrink a lot because flowering takes lots of energy from the bulb itself. It uses actually the energy from the bulb. Of course, you water it, but the main source is what the bulb has in itself. So this is the process. We plant the bulb, first the buds come out, the plant is flowering, then the leaves start to grow. And leaves are essential and very important for the whole process of the life cycle of the plants. It's for photosynthesis. The green leaves need to photosynthesize and produce the energy and nutrients for the bulb, for your plant to grow, to get better, to get energy, to get bigger and produce like buds and babies for the next year. This is very important and cutting them, you cut the energy source for, for your plant and it, it cannot grow, it cannot develop in a proper way. You, you need to cut the leaves only, only when in the end of the autumn, for example, 
when it, when the weather gets uh, colder, the, the leaves itself, the leaves themselves will turn yellow and brown, will get dry. And this is the only time when you need to cut the leaves. Never ever before. Never when the leaves are green. Only when they are yellow, brown or get dry. Then you cut the leaves and then you stop watering your bulbs, you take them out and then you prepare them for dormancy. If you want to see how they will grow, I will be updating you every, every time that uh, there is something interesting about them on my Facebook, on Instagram. Please follow me on Facebook, Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I will be posting their updates. I will make another video how they are growing, how they are blooming, what to do after blooming, how to prepare your bulbs to dormancy, what to do in the dormancy period and how, uh, how to, so to say, about these amazing plants. So stay patient about plants. See you next time.